Hello, we are John and Kerry. We are travelling Australia and videoing our memories along the way. We love to share all the amazing places we find, adventures we get up to while attempting to catch a decent fish. Join us each week to see what we get up to. Hello, what a perfect little spot we've got here. We're at, yes, this is basically right in town, the campground right in town, on the river. I got my rod in just there. This place gets a little bit muddy when they've had a bit of rain. At the moment it's all right. There's the boat ramp up there. I'll take you up to have a look at that. You can also go a bit further up that way. This one's a free camp. It's just down off the oval there and the netball courts are up there. And there's nothing here, no facilities. So you need to be self-contained. It's a great little stop if you just want to call in for an overnighter. That's what we're doing and just whack the lines in while we're here. On tubes, just the best thing they've brought back. And magpies in, yes, think so too. So this is called Joe O'Connor Campground. Very, very popular with the locals. They come over here and swim. Just out of that tree there. You get a few swings out of it, but you can see how high the floods got with the rubbish what's up in the top of that tree. Yeah, they jump in here and swim over there. And there's a boat ramp just down there, I'll take you down to that. And they come in, put their boats and kayaks in, fishing for the day too. So we were here on the weekend, which was super busy. Well, it's okay, they're so lucky to have this right in the middle of their town. This is the drive-in to get here. Come around if you want waterfront. Otherwise you can keep going up there. There's other campgrounds along there, but they're not quite on the water. This is the boat ramp. It does get a little bit wet and sloshy in places after rain. I believe it rained here two days ago. That's from that a bit of a bog hole just there. But you could probably fit three vans along here easy. That's the water right there.
Hello, this week we're back on the south coast. We're at um, Tourist Lakeside Holiday Park. This is the camp kitchen. There's lots of cabins here, but they've also got caravan sites, so $40 for power and water, and $35 for unpowered. What an awesome place this is. Look how close we are to the water. Right there. Just put the boat in, we're going to go out and try our luck. It's a little bit overcast today, but we'll see how we go. The whole caravan park is right on the water. It's a massive pool up there. I'll take you up and show you that. But first, we're going to go out. It's late in the afternoon, see if we can catch a fish. See what we come up with. Massive pool here. We've even got a little baby pool. We'd love to stay longer here, but we could only do a couple of nights because they've got a big um, fishing club coming this weekend. They've booked the whole park out. You can see why it's right on the water. And you can just leave your boat moored there overnight. The campsites are on the water and most of the cabins are too. Really top spot if you want to do a bit of fishing. John thinks he might have something. <laughs> Little flathead. It's what we want, but just a bit bigger. Your baby. Legal size is 36, isn't it? Yep. He was 34. John's got himself something else. Oh, One net. One net. Going around beyond the motor. Do you want to go to the other side or? Yeah, that looks good. Is it a good one? Mm. Took your bait three times before you got him. Huh? Said he took your bait three times before you got him. There he is. Oh. What are you doing? I need a bigger net. No, oh, you pulled it out of the net. It was in the net. <laughs> That's a nice flathead. Nice flathead there. Well, that's our second one. We're getting bigger each time, so hopefully that continues. Kerry's got one now. Not very big, but oh, he's, he's a, a he's a... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're between them. <laughs> Moved out into some deeper water and straight away we're on. He's too small, so he'll be going back. He's on with a good one, this one. Oh. There you go with it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I just got to get it up so I can beat yeah. yours. <laughs> yeah, Debbie Mark. What am I looking? 61 oh, cents. is. So. Oh, big and flatty, I think. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it would be. oh, it's a little mulloway. Big mulloway. Good mulloway. It's a juicy mulloway. Yeah. Woohoo, look at that. Look how purple it is on top. 
Oh, okay. You can get that hook out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mullaway. Mullaway. Awesome. Yeah. Nice size Mullaway. Yeah, that's what I'm going to call it. 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 Yeah, Mulloway is a minimum of 70 centimetres and he's 60. Oh, I gotta put him back. <laughs> there you go, buddy. So, if you come in here fishing, where we've had the most luck, that's the main boat ramp over there. Just over there is the boat sheds and cafe. You got that yellow boy just there. And over behind John there, that red boy. Just drift along between those two. And for bait, we've just got these green prawns. Just grab them from Woolies. Cut them in half. And salted pilchers. That's been the best. about how far we are from the bank. And yeah, Lake Juros has been good. That's it from us this week. Thanks for watching. See you next week.